Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of FTV Skies Expert. In this episode, we work on obtaining brine more efficiently to set up automation of circuits and craft an implosion chamber for better dash processing. So, without further ado, I hope you enjoy. Alright folks, let's go ahead and get started. I have a ton planned for today's episode, so I'm going to need to kind of do some of these things, uh, not quick, but just go ahead and get into them, you know. So the first thing I'm going to be doing here is throwing these materials in our induction smelter to get some of these thermal evaporation blocks. Uh, this is going to allow us to, you know, uh, basically what we're doing here right is we're using this to make uh it can be used for a couple different things but the reason we're going to be using it is for brine uh you know not really a huge like not really very difficult to make but we're going to be doing that a um, couple of notes real quick. I built this platform out here. This is where we're going to be setting some of this stuff up. I kind of wanted some more room and I kind of wanted to stop uh, doing everything down here. I also did some data module uh, stuff. I got the the Merid data module. So we now basically have infinite, not infinite, but you know, a lot of Afra essence, you know, it's a lot easier to get now and everything like that. So if we grab some of this stuff here. We're going to let those keep cooking because we're going to need a good bit of them because we're going to need a multi-block structure. But if we pop one over here, we'll go ahead and make the uh, the valve. I think we might need two of these actually. And then the thermal evaporation controller, right? And that's, uh, that's that squared away. And also with this, I wanted to make some advanced... Uh, advanced... Let's see here. Uh, yeah, these advanced solar generators. So these can't actually be used for the intended purpose of power generation, like kind of how they are in like a regular pack or something, but they do still speed up the, the brine processing and everything like that. So they're going to be useful to us. And I kind of started crafting up some of these solar cells. They're really easy to make it's just an upgrade matrix and i am at the shard which this is how you get those but yeah super easy um i think this said that these were going to need uh dash plating yeah they do so we'll we'll hold off on these for the time being but in the meantime we'll get some mechanical pipes we're probably gonna need more of those but we'll just start this over here for the time being and if i remember correctly Yeah, so this needs a two by two area in the center. So we need to do something like this, right? And we need more of the blocks to do what we need to do. But we're gonna get this set up for the purpose of basically just getting brine in a way that doesn't use the salt kind of ore or whatever it's called you know just because that's kind of an annoying way to go about getting it um i think we'll put a valve here and a valve there right and then we're kind of just now waiting on this over here in the meantime we will get while we wait for some of those blocks to craft up we'll get something else going that i needed which is this implosion compressor right which is pretty simple to make it's not too difficult we just need some force plating which we already have and then some compressed uh it's the stone i can't remember the reinforced stone 
uh, that's then crafted. I think you just do this. And then, no, was it this? Yeah, it was eight. Okay, so something like this, we pop on over here. We can do this really quickly just by throwing these in here like so throw that in there and then throw this in there and then uh no that one's kind of tr tricky to get to because of this pipe in the way uh, we'll just put this in the chest it should put it in there and then just an advanced processor in the middle and that should hopefully make for us what it needs to yeah the implosion chamber right and this guy has uh just like a lot of the other custom machinery ones it actually has a structure that goes with it so we will do that real quick with some lumium glass that i have crafted and then some dynamic tanks and i think we can go grab our schematic cannon here to build this for us because i don't want to build it by hand so let's get that going um implosion compressor okay and then we'll just quickly throw on gosh my inventory is so full of just junk let me deposit some of this real quick stuff that i just like really don't need okay throw in the spacesuit like so and then we'll go through our portal which is nice and handily here on over to our space station which is sweet um well now i'll probably put this in this room over here probably just cause but if we i want to rotate you uh like so there we go but we'll put that guy there and then i also just realized i left the gunpowder uh back at the back at the base so we'll have to deal with that we'll throw you in there you in there dynamic tank Dynamic tank. We also forgot the laser node, so we got a, we got a couple of things we have to to deal with. Over to here, throw you in there, and then gunpowder, and then start building you. Okay, and that's nice for what we're doing at the current moment. Other than the fact that this guy is facing the wrong way, I don't like that. Uh, can I place you? Yeah, there we go. All right, sweet. So now, if I've done this correct this time, uh, yeah, TNT on the left side, and then dash on the right side, and we should see this start turning into dash plating, which this is so much nicer to do for dash plating, like compared to what we were doing. Like I honestly am kind of over the moon about this. This is amazing. And this also wasn't too hard to make. Like, we kind of were just waiting on the laser IO node to craft something like this. So, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We'll break all this stuff, though. So, we can take it back home with us because we don't want to leave it up here in space. And we'll just go ahead and get a decent amount of dash plating because it's nice to just have on standby. We'll probably need to go get some more dash at some point soon because we have used quite a bit of it but we'll pop through here and then we'll get started on some of our other things the first being let me go check on these guys over here yeah 32 we're gonna need a lot more than that like a lot more than that so we're gonna need impressed uh no we need I think I, these are all over here, actually. Yeah. Nope, don't place you. Uh, compressed iron. 
copper plating we're probably going to need more compressed iron to be very frank we'll do uh some iron blocks in our compressor over here i think this will uh i think you can pressurize just the blocks yeah i think it just takes a lot more pressure but we'll do that so we can start getting some of those things and in the meantime let me put that tnt back up yeah like so we will now probably we'll start this back up like this right we also yeah we got more dielectric powder which is nice throw you in there so you can keep cropping up but let's go over here real quick to build this guy up so i think once we reach this initial state um maybe it has to be one more yeah there we go so as you can see now this is the unit essentially right and we need to provide it with water we can also speed it up with the advanced solar panels so or solar generators my bad so we'll do that um, out of infused alloy really okay we'll get some more of that real quick um i think it was dash wasn't it or no signal um i don't know if we have any signal and plating we do not uh let me get some more of that real quick and i'll be right back okay we got some more of that so let's craft uh we need three more of these guys um if we go down here hold on just need to do a little bit of uh infusing here and we were already doing some of this earlier so let me just uh grab you out get all this out of here give me some there we go But yeah, this guy should make these into uh, the infused alloy for us. Should only need six, so one more batch of this, and then we'll we'll be good. Till we can leave to go craft. There we go. So we'll head on back up. Craft two more of these fellas. And let's do this. So for them, right, we'll get a mechanical pipe. So that way we can transfer some liquids. And then let's check down here. We might have some more of these blocks now. Yeah, we do. We just need some more copper plating in there. Uh, the max height you can build one of these is 18 blocks tall, technically. Um, I'm not sure that we'll be, we're going to get to that point eventually. I'm going to try to at least. Shouldn't be too far off of it. I mean, at the current moment, we aren't close, but let's uh, do this real quick. So we take out these corner blocks, right? Like so, and then we can actually fill these in. Uh, the structure will recognize this. And we can actually put these guys down here, right? Which should increase the temperature by quite a bit. And if we put some water going into here now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, uh, that was unfortunate. I forgot I was on bench mode. Um, We'll just make another one of those. I forget what they're called, but aqueous accumulator. Yeah, that's what it is. We'll make one of these. And then I wonder if this will be able to provide enough water like quickly enough. Basic mechanical pipe. Uh, extract you. Yeah. Water is being produced and then brine is being produced. So what we'll do now now that we can do this is we will 
send this over into this fella, right? From before, right? We were kind of doing some of this already. And if we set the empty, okay, so we want left side for fluid to be an input. Why are you condensing Oh, is it this one? Yeah. Gaseous brine. And then were you the one who would take the gaseous brine and then... Let's see. It was brine into... Oh no, it was just brine into the electrical... Electrolytic separator. My bad. I thought we needed a whole nother step here to get the chlorine. But this was before when we were doing the salt. So now chlorine's being produced, right? And the main reason for doing all this, really, this will probably be more than enough for what we're doing at the current moment. But the main reason we're doing, I think I need to dump excess on you to make sure that that doesn't, uh, that doesn't build up too much, but we're doing this so we can get a bunch of silicone, basically, is the reason behind this. Uh, we'll do, we go sil silicone, um, and I think we could just get this from Certus Quartz Dust. Yes, Certus. So let's do that real quick. Put you there. Also want to swap my armor back. That way we don't use up all our oxygen. Uh, but I'll... I think this is cooking. Has a blasting recipe, yeah. So we'll go throw some of this in here now. But this should essentially like have our silicone processing done pretty well. All right, so we'll do this. And then, yeah, we're getting printed silicone now. The reasoning behind this is if we look into some things... Uh, we're going to need a lot of processors for certain crafting and the base of these, every single one of them is printed silicone, right? Uh, this will be used for a lot of different things. The main one being right now that we kind of want to get is we want to get, um, I'm trying to think, we want to get uh, acceleration cards for our inscribers right and we also want to get potentially some other processors but i also want to make this uh or this is why i wanted it right so the quantum assembler right is something that i really want to get right and the thing with this is that it needs a lot of different things for the multi-block um i think we look space chamber yeah, okay, that's not too bad. But it needs these Emmy quantum rings. Right? Which need these processors here. And then an energy cell, which that's not too bad to get. Uh, we need some dense cabling as well from Applied Energistics. Uh, which isn't horrible to get. It's just a little bit of crafting and everything. But... I want to get the multi-block for this, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I need? Compact machine walls, fluid stairs. We need a lot of entangled blocks, right? Which, if we look entangled, I think this is why. Yeah. So we have to do this a bunch, but we have plenty of Afro Essence now, which was the annoying part of getting this. Right, so that's not too big of a deal. But once we get the quantum assembler, we can just... Basically, I'm trying to get to the point of having this so we don't have to like do rituals for all this stuff, which is kind of annoying. Uh, what about an any quantum link chamber? Where are you? Okay, you're not bad at all. So, yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad to make. But yeah, it's just going to take a little bit of little bit of crafting, a little bit of doing, doing some things and whatnot. But I'm going to go now. Let's see if we want those quantum 
bookmark those two. We need Flux Pearls. Quite a bit of them. Right, which shouldn't be bad because we have the B for that. And then we're going to need Diamond. Diamond and Gold Logic Processors. So let's actually, I'm going to get some things together, a um, couple of materials and everything, and I'm actually going to set up an automated way with laser IO to do these processings of the, the chips that we need and everything. So let me get some things together and I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I'm back now and that took a little while, but I figured out something that is kind of the desired effect of what I wanted. Um, let me show this off real quick. So we have this input chest here with the items that we want to just throw in here for the time being. So, you know, for the different processors, this is Certus and gold and diamonds. We can even throw some dash in here. I set up one for dash as well and everything like that. At least I think I did. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so... Uh, from this north side, we have all these extraction cards, right? And I'll show off the diamond one, for instance, here, right? And inside this, I have the diamond. Like, I have a filter that says, hey, only pull diamond, right? Off of this channel three, right? Um, What did I just do? Oh, I just broke something. How did diamonds end up in... uh? in all of these okay it was working um oh I, kn I know what broke this i know what broke this uh i need to set a filter on this white one i forgot to do that that's the last thing i forgot to do so we should be able to take these out now and that should now only insert the silicone okay so yeah, let me talk about that first, actually. So, white channel, right? If we go... Wait, did I not just set this with a filter? Okay, I apparently didn't. So, let me do that real quick. Hold on. So, that should only be able to extract these guys, right? Anywho, so... White filter extracts printed silicone. Each one of these has a insert on white card and everything like that. Insert on white, insert on white, you know, all that. So you also have to, in this version, make sure that they're specific. So you have to set this parameter to down for them to go into this bottom slot here. But once you do that, let me throw some of these in here. Once you do that, though, uh, we'll do this diamond one, right? So we have this extracting diamonds on this third channel. And then if we come over to this inscriber, which is the diamond one, we have an insert on channel three. So that's how that works, right? Like filtered extract only allows diamonds to go into that channel three, then just plain channel three on this, this diamond guy. And then also in each one of these, because we need the, uh, yeah, we need this conductive soldering alloy and everything like that. Each one of these has a pink filter, right? Which if we come over here to our extraction, that's the conductive and everything. And then each one of these also has an extraction filter, right? On this channel seven and everything like that. Uh, this doesn't need to be filtered. You can just set this to the extraction. And then as long as it needs to be on a parameter that's either uh, left, right, back, or front. So I just set it to north. And then we just have this guy over here who is uh, inserting on that channel 7. So then all the processors end up in this chest over here. It's a, it's pretty... It, it sounds... I don't know if I made that sound too overcomplicated or anything. But like, it's really not that complicated once you figure out the first setup for the channels and everything. This is a lot easier in version 1.20 because I'm pretty sure these inscribers don't even need like the, I think they got rid of the side input thing. So you can just set all these up without having to like do the directional inputs on them and everything. But that's really cool. We have all these now. 
so that'll be nice um for the time being though i'm probably gonna wrap the episode up here uh, i feel like some of the stuff that we're getting into next is like a whole nother episodes worthy i feel like we did quite a bit here between the brine and the implosion chamber and then automating these guys over here so uh yeah folks as always if you like the video like comment subscribe do all that fun stuff and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one peace Thank you.